Hey everybody, Luke Gordon here. In today's video, we're going to talk about differentiating between the two types of vertigo, uh, posterior canal and horizontal canal. Um, so if you've got vertigo and it's BPPV, and you're just trying to figure out the very first step, which is which canal is it in and which side is it on, that's your first step in treatment. So I just kind of wanted to break out the whiteboard. It's been a little while since I've done a whiteboard video. So I just wanted to walk you through very basic steps and then I'll link to other videos um, at the end of this video in terms of if you want to actually go through and perform the test or the treatments. So let's just start um, on the blue text here first, which is the most common type of BPPV. Um, or you know vertigo, little crystals in your ear. I'm not going to go into too much detail now because I've got other videos on it. Um, but posterior canal is your most common type. So when it comes to posterior canal, when you're testing for it, what you're going to do is the Dix Hall Pike test. That's going to test for posterior canal. Again, I'm not going to go through every detail of all this because I've got individual videos on just about everything I'm going to talk about. But the Dix Hall Pike test is going to test for posterior canal. So Dix Hall Pike, just in a nutshell, you're sitting up on the table, your head is turned off 45 degrees to one side, tipped back, and then you lay back in that position, end up with your head hanging backwards a little bit. So in that one, if you turn your head to the right, you're testing the right posterior canal, and a positive sign on that test would be that you or the client is um, reporting sensations of vertigo like movement or spinning or swaying. Spinning is a big one. And what you should typically see on the eyes in terms of the eyeball movement is that you're going to see a torsional beat, so like a torsional nystagmus, and it's going to beat up like towards the right eye. Or if you're doing the left side, up and towards the left. The torsion is really that key. Um, and again, it's, it's going to look like it's torsion up beating, kind of like flicks like this. So that's a positive test for posterior canal BPPV using the Dix Hall Pike. If that's the case, you're going to use the Epley maneuver to treat that. And again, I'm not going to go through the Epley because I've got videos on that. Um, I can link to them at the end or you can look for them uh, online here on, on YouTube. So that's the rundown for posterior canal testing. It's your most common type. Now, if you've got vertigo and you think, well, it doesn't seem to be posterior canal, maybe it's horizontal canal. So a little bit less common, quite less common actually, um, but here it is. So same kind of just diagram for you is that horizontal canal, you're going to do the supine roll test to check for that. Supine roll test is really easy. So sometimes as a clinician, I'll just do that first before I do Dix Hall Pike just to rule out horizontal canal because it's less common. So a supine roll test is you simply lay on your back with your head elevated forward about 30 degrees. So you can have a couple big pillows or the, head, the table can be tilted up a little bit. So 30 degrees up from um, you know gravitational horizontal. And then you just roll your head all the way to one side and then you roll your head all the way to the other side. And um, a positive test on this in a nutshell is now your eyes, the direction of your eye nystagmus is going to be purely to the side. So it's not going to be torsional, it's not going to be beating up torsion, down torsion, it's just going to be straight side to side. Okay, if you want to know more about that, I've got lots of videos that explain it's a little bit tricky to determine what to do with that, how to treat that. It's not quite as straightforward as just do the Epley, but the maneuver you're going to use is the Gafani maneuver. And again, I've got two videos that really lay this out for you. It's a hard one to explain in a short amount of time because the direction that the eyes are beating, um, it's, it's tricky to interpret. So again, I've got videos on that, but I just wanted to share, that's the simple breakdown of both of them. So again, horizontal, supine roll test, looking for uh, movement of the eyes side to side, and then you would do the Gafani. Posterior canal, you're gonna test it with Dix Hall Pike. Positive test is gonna be a torsional upbeat you're going to use the Epley to treat. And then of course you treat, rest, and then retest and then treat again as necessary. Um, so I thought this might just help people understand the differences between the two. Uh, one last thing I do want to throw in, which I've said in a different video, but I'll say it again now, is that sometimes you can start on this side with posterior canal, BPPV, you can treat it with the Epley, you can go to retest, and all of a sudden it, the eyes are beating to the side. And then you go over and you just do the supine roll test to double check and lo and behold, it's converted from posterior canal to horizontal canal. That kind of sucks. It's kind of discouraging, but it happens sometimes and then you just go about treating it with the Gafani again. 
So that's all I wanted to say in this video. Hope it just helps you kind of break things down, understand a little bit more. Uh, vertigo can be very challenging to treat on your own. So I do, of course, recommend you find someone in your area who's kind of an expert at it because um, it can be tricky. But if not, I hope this is, just helps overall. Uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, give the video a thumbs up and leave a positive comment below before you go. That's it. Thanks.